Predator 5 is looking like it's shaping up now. Yes, we've got casting updates and details to Predator 5. Now, this was actually quite interesting, to be perfectly honest, because I've been following the Predator 5 movie for some time. I've done a bunch of videos on it, and if you haven't seen it, don't worry. We're going to recap some of the information because it's really important because of the character that's been cast. Uh, so, so don't worry if you've missed a bunch of those updates. But it's interesting to hear that they are moving forward with casting because currently Disney is actually being sued by the original writers of the Predator franchise. So that seemingly indicates that they're not worried about that lawsuit uh, and that they're happy just to move forwards and continue trying to make this film. It means it's not fallen into that grey area like Friday the 13th. So that's quite a surprise. But we now have casting details for the lead in, uh, in this brand new Predator 5 film. So we're going to dive into that today, guys. But just before we do, I want to take this opportunity to say, hey... If you're new here, or even if you're not new, please do hit that subscribe button. YouTube is doing very strange things at the moment, uh, and it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel just to show YouTube that you do like this channel, uh, because it's not recommending videos even to current subscribers. It's very strange, um, but I would appreciate that. And side note, if you want to follow me elsewhere, because YouTube doesn't notify you, I do share videos over on Twitter, and you can follow me over there at Mr. H Reviews. And I do have a second channel, in the description box, which is all about cars, uh, where I'm currently rebuilding a rally car. Sounds odd, but yeah, that is what I do in my spare time. Check it out, link in the description box. So, Predator 5, it's got its lead, allegedly. Anyway, this is all courtesy of uh, Discussing Film. Amber Midthunder, I, I'm, I, I appreciate that's probably not how you pronounce it, um, but basically she's been cast in the lead role of this brand new Predator movie. Now you might be looking at this and going, okay, young woman, right. How does this factor into the story? Because, um, well, basically, the information that Discussing Film gives is actually out of date. And um, we've got, well, it's very, very out of date. We've long known what was going on with this film for quite a long time, uh, to be honest. So, discussing films, say, we have learned that Amber Midthunder has been cast in 20th Century Studios' upcoming Predator film, which is about to begin filming in Calgary, Alberta. Sources say that she will play the lead role in the film. Now, from what I know, and what most people know about the role um, and the lead of the film, that, that lines up perfectly. The, the lead role is actually a young 17 to 19 year old uh, female who is a Native American, a Comanche warrior. Well, not a Comanche warrior, but a Comanche. Uh, and that is that. That is the lead role. Uh, that is a lead title character, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for Predator 5. So this actually lines up perfectly with that. And we've got some more information on that character, which Discussing Film didn't give. So again, I will update you on... I'll bring you all up to speed on what she's supposed to be playing. Now, Amber Midunder is an upcoming... Native American actress, perhaps best known or most known to fandom for her role as Kerry Loudermilk in Marvel and FX's Legion. She currently stars in a series regular role as Rosa Orteco in the CW's Roswell, New Mexico. So that's that's fine. That's who she is uh, as an individual. Now, with respect to the other information that uh, Discussing Film gives, they say this new Predator film is set to follow a Comanche woman who goes against the gender norms. Uh, and traditions of her tribe to become a warrior. No other plot details or a potential release date are known yet, despite principal photography very close to the beginning. They're actually currently scouting. Uh, and recently there was uh, like an Instagram post from the uh, the director, Dan Trachtenberg, which indicated that they were actually set to film like now, basically. Um, but this isn't, this isn't true. We actually do know a lot more information uh, than what, discussing film have here which we'll get to in a second but it's interesting they say Patrick Ayson is writing the screenplay with a story from Dan Trachtenberg as far as I'm aware now Dan, Dan Trachtenberg is the positive uh, element here he's the director behind 10 Cloverfield Lane because you'll look at this and go well why on earth um you know what? Why on earth are we following a you know a, a young woman going up against the predator we've we've gone from Arnold Schwarzenegger 80s action hero you know, massive bodybuilder, biggest of all time, whatever, to a woman. 
it's a little bit odd in that respect. Um, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense because you're it's essentially you're you're nerfing the character of the predator, an ultimate alien hunter that you know Arnold Schwarzenegger really really struggled against and basically only won out of dumb luck to a female. Uh, a young girl, nonetheless, as well, uh, or a young girl, no less. Uh, it doesn't that as a, as a as a narrative doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Uh, it seem seems to bring the character of the predator down quite a few notches, which again is not a surprise in this day and age. But it is a shame because ultimately, let's be honest, the the, the character of the predator, fantastic, great design, so so good. Uh, a very, very good design, so much so, in fact, I have it just up there, out, out of screen, uh, on my wall. And they always die at the end of these movies. There has never been a film where the Predator survives and wins, and this will not be one of them. It just won't be, let's be honest. Um, so them then going up against the, you know, a 19, 17-year-old Comanche girl, because it's not a warrior, it is a Comanche girl, um... Yeah, it, it, it is a shame. It is a shame um, because there are statistically, like, biologically, statistically speaking, this predator should just, just rip a spine out. We should rip all their spines out. Quite frankly, none of no Comanche warrior would be as honed and trained as the archetype of this sort of mercenary force uh, of Arnold Schwarzenegger in the eighties and that that whole group. It just wouldn't be. However. Ladies and gents, let's get to the new information, or the information that's actually been out for some time, which I've done videos on. This is the character that Amber will be playing, Key. Okay, female, 19 years old, Comanche. Her name, Key, literally means no in Comanche. How did she get her name? Well, she earned that name by perpetually refusing to do as she is told her entire life. <sighs> Now, narratively speaking, why should I care about a belligerent child? It, it doesn't set yourself up for a character that the audience is going to like. There's nothing... What, what is likeable about character that is belligerent and just getting her name because she just says no all the time? I'm sorry, that's not particularly... It's not enthralling to me, quite frankly. Uh, Key is very close to her younger brother, Tabe who is being groomed as a leader. Uh, as capable as any young man in the tribe, Ki has always been a teacher and source of inspiration for Tabe. In the Comanche, uh, Comanche way, she is Patsy, the elder sister that has helped to shape him. Ki is a truth teller and has insight that others do not. A tomboy, because of course she would be. Um, she wants to prove herself in the masculine world of the Comanche. When danger threatens them all, Key sets out to prove that she's as capable as any young warrior. So you can see it. You can see the narrative spilling out as we, you know, break down these characters. Th these have actually been out for a really long time. So I'm really surprised that Discussing Film didn't quote these. Um, big, big no-no on Discussing Film. They're really behind on that. But anyway, the other character that will be offset against uh, Amber... Is Tabe, male, 17 years old, seeking an 18 to play younger. Comanche, Tabe's name means sun, uh, like the star in the sky, which lets you know the tribe's expectations of him. He is being groomed to be a chief one day, having relied on the counsel of his older sister, Ki, his patsy, for his entire life. Tabe has just had a taste of success in one of his first big hunts. As he is coming of age and fresh off of his first triumph, he feels that he's now a leader in charge and no longer needs key, which causes the first rift in their very close relationship. Now, I can sort of see how this narrative would play out. My hot prediction here is that, you know, Tabe will go out, have a, you know, a great hunt, sort of be a bit more belligerent against Key. Key will be assuring him, you know, I've trained you your whole life. I am the guy, you know, I'm the person that gives you all your advice. I am Patsy. Please don't go out again without me, blah, blah, blah. He decides to go out and then boom, he gets killed by a predator. That's how I can imagine this going. Correct me if you, you see otherwise, and then I would imagine Key's like, oh my god, no, you've killed my brother, and then goes out and tries to find what killed her brother. Or, Tabe goes out with a group of, of, of other Comanche, and then the other Comanche get killed by the Predator, and then they both go out together and succeed uh, and become stronger together uh, and kill the Predator. But that's basically how this is going to go, and I feel it's a shame. 
Uh, I feel it's a, a massive shame. It does seem... I, I just... Yeah, I'm, I'm not enthralled by this concept for uh, a Predator film. Uh, I feel like it is... I don't know, not necessarily lazy, but just just a bit of a shame. Um, and now there has been some other information anyway that dropped as well. Again, this stuff has been out there for a really, really long time. So... Uh, this is this is old information. It's been out for months, literally months. So let's start with our rebellious girl, whose name Key means no. They're looking for a 15-year-old to take on the role of a rebellious Comanche teen. So that literally fits perfectly with this Amber character. And I will say this, at least given the casting, at least they, they are casting, you know, a Native American. That's good. Um, so anyway... She has a close relationship with her brother. He is our second lead, the 18-year-old Tabe, whose name means son. Key's a truth teller who sees what others don't. As she guides her brother, who is expected to become chief one day, after a successful hunt, he believes he has come of age and no longer requires his sister's help, uh, which creates a rift between them, and she decides to set out and prove that she is just as capable as the others. She aims to defy the rules set by the masculine world of the Comanche. Now, all of this will probably give you some pretty big alarm bells, with the Predator franchise, which has been and was created as that sort of 80s masculine stereotype. If you didn't know, Predator, written by Jim and John Thomas, uh, Hunters was, or Hunter, I can't remember the exact original title, but it, it, it actually originated as a joke um, about Rocky Balboa. Who's he going to fight next? He fights E.T. That is literally how the Predator came around. It was a joke. Uh, on 80s masculinity and like how how can you get any further who can fight who you know how can you get any more sort of masculine with it uh, and that obviously that that populated one of the most masculine films of all time uh, with the most of the most masculine men of all time in said film uh, and especially for that era and now they're just flipping that on its head and you could say that actually goes very much in line with the original concept of how the story came around but I disagree and I, I do feel like, you know, it's it shifted past that sort of initial joke and has become uh, that un unashamedly masculine franchise. And it's a shame that they're now going against that and going, well, you know, a, a, a bloody 19 year old girl can go off and kill uh, a predator because that's going to be the end result, ladies and gents. Make no mistake. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, and this is one of the things is Arnold Schwarzenegger turned down a role in The Predator because it disrespected his character basically it was, a, it was a tiny role it disrespected his character he turned up at the end he said you guys are the future you guys are the, you know the ultimate warriors come with me if you want to live that was basically it and obviously we, na we we know from the end result of that movie that a child was being referenced as the ultimate warrior and it's like come on you know Arnold Schwarzenegger the character of Dutch went up against the predator and barely survived and now you're having children go up against it like how far can a franchise fall how far can a franchise fall so there you go casting update amber Midthunder uh is now uh, rumored to be cast in predator 5 uh it will be shooting if not it is again i can't exactly remember i'm fairly certain dan trachtenberg released um an instagram post now he is positive he did 10 cloverfield lane he knows how to handle uh female characters but this is the Predator franchise at the end of the day. And we know a Predator's not going to win in this uh, in this movie. So it is a shame. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Give the video a like. And please do share it because you've lasted this long. You clearly enjoyed the video. Cheers. Take care.